Good day to you, my dear Salesian family, and to all the friends of Don Bosco. Join us in deepening our gratitude to God for the gift of faith as we celebrate the 500 years of Christianity in the Philippines, especially assisted by the miraculous hands of our Blessed Mother. Our popular devotion in focus today is Our Lady of Piat in Cagayan Valley. Join us as we journey through its history, expressions of devotion, and testimonies of prayers granted. To us, the countless favors you obtained from God, from roaring waves and distance, your you came to us to bring God's love. The long journey of Our Lady began in Macau, where a number of churches were built by religious orders who rushed into this new Portuguese colony, including the Dominican order. When suspicions of espionage among the Spanish clerics mounted, the Portuguese Viceroy in India demanded the expulsion of Spanish nationals. Most went back to Spain, but others ventured to the east and sailed more than 700 miles across the South China Sea to Cavite south of Manila in the Philippines. Among the religious belongings is a bronze statue of Nuestra Señora del Rosario, or also known as Our Lady of the Rosary. The statue stands four feet tall and made of paper mache. Lacquering methods were applied in the statue, popularly used in Middle East and in India. It has a typical mother and child depiction, and unlike the Chinese ivory made statues, its color is muy moreno, or too dark. Its Indian feature suggests that it was made by the artisans in India before transporting to Macau around 1550. It landed the shores of the Philippines in around 1604 during the expulsion of the Spaniards in Macau. If this is so, this image of Our Lady of Piat will be the oldest image of the Blessed Virgin Mary in the Philippines. One glaring importance of the image was its value to the missionary work of evangelization of the Dominicans who ventured from Cavite to the north of Luzon, to the Itawes natives of Cagayan Valley. They are known to be fierce and difficult to convert. In 1604, they brought this image of this gentle-looking mother and child in Lalok, Cagayan, and thus started its visitation of our people. Over the course of time, the image was transferred to Piat, who needed an image for their church, and a miraculous healing took place. In 1619, the image was transferred to Togegarao to replace it with a better image. But it was torn with the mounting opposition from the natives themselves, who grew love to their brown skinned Madonna and child. And the result was the image was brought back to Piat. It settled in a hill between Piat and Tuwau, in a simple brick church called Sanctuario di Piat. This church will soon be elevated to Basilica Minore where thousands of her flock will see her and applaud her intercession. In 2004, she celebrated her quadrocentennial celebration and her second canonical coronation, the first being in 1954. She is the only Marian image canonically crowned twice, 400 years since she arrived in Cagayan Valley among her people. Every 2nd of July, novenas are made before a day of celebration. For the people of Cagayan, she is their Yanatan Ngamin, meaning Mother to us all. She is ever watchful, ever caring, always one with their people in their toils and wiping their sweat and tears when they need her maternal protection. She is part and parcel of their heritage, their culture, and their fate. She is the Queen of Cagayan, the patroness of the valley, 
But above all, a loving mother to her devoted children. O Our Lady of the Visitation of Piat, Merciful Mother and sure refuge of sinners, we have recourse to thee today. We know that thou art the well, spring of mercy, and therefore we have great confidence that thou wilt listen to our prayers, which we offer this day in praise and thanksgiving for past benefits, and in the hope of receiving new blessings, which thou knowest we stand in need of in life. We beseech thee, O exalted Virgin, through the example of thy glorious life, through the mysteries which we have meditated upon with the Holy Rosary. Help us in all our necessities, spiritual and material. Deliver us from all dangers to our salvation and obtain for us the grace to fulfill the will of God most perfectly. O Mother, permit us not to fall into any grievous sin whereby we lost the grace of God and incur thy displeasure. Rather support us with thy powerful intercession so that we may walk through life, pleasing in the eyes of thy divine Son and confident of thy patronage till we come to join thee and Jesus in the realms of the blessed. Amen.